Hiya folks, it's Kikoskia here, and welcome back to Let's Play Quest for Glory 1 VGA, and when last we left off we have Derek, and little Derek, here in Irana's Peace, where nobody will come and kill us. This is good, because we're not in a condition to fight anyone. Also, can we grab this fruit? No, for our hunger has been totally satisfied, which is good. Do we have some flowers in our inventory? That we do. We also have apples, and we have how much money? We have 7 gold and 41 silver. Not bad. It is time for us to rest. You have all the flowers you need. True, we need to do it this way. Sleep all night. <sighs> right by the rock. Good thing you didn't rest your head upon that rock. You sleep comfortably among the fragrant flowers. Well, I'm going to try a slightly different route to the castle today. Yeah, right, let's go! The day is young, and so are we. Let us go this way, and then I'm going to just try heading down. See where it takes me. I mean, worst case scenario, it's going to take me to somewhere that's new. And we'll have new ways for us to die! We also haven't fully explored the castle. There's probably an area to the west of the area that we train with the Weapon Master that we've not got a looked at. Down we go. And here we are here. Still nobody coming to get us. Makes sense. Very early in the day. Still nobody coming to get us. Huh. I was expecting some kind of ambush. Maybe later in the day. And... Ooh, hello! The centaur stops raking as you approach. The trees have tiny fruits forming. It is a common bush. I think we found... The farmer. It's a pine tree. The ornamental vases are empty. This is the centaur shovel. Three pots wait for the day when they will hold dirt and flowers. It's a small tree. The forest surrounds the farmer's small fields and orchard. The crops have yet to be planted. There are only a few weeds and some grasses at the edge of the forest. To the east, you can see a small house. To the west, you see the forest. To the north, beyond the farmer's orchard, you can see the forest. There is a lot of forest. The majestic centaur watches you carefully. Hello! Let's ask your name. I am Heinrich. I live in town with my daughter Hild, who sells our produce on Market Street. We've heard of you. Let's talk about Hild. Hild is a bright little filly. I am very proud of her. Let's talk about the Farmer Smart. Our stand is in the northeast corner of Spielberg. The produce is not the finest this time of year, but you will not find better than this fruit come harvest time. Let's talk about the harvest. We grow fine fruit in our little orchard and sell it at our stand in town. There you will find fresh cherries in the spring, peaches in summer, and apples in the fall. It is truly a sight to see. I can imagine. Let's go back, let's go back, and ask about the farm. I can grow enough on this little plot to feed my family and the village. You should see this field during the summer. Maybe we will. There are a few carrots and potatoes left from last season, but I'm just starting to plant the crops now. Ooh, sounds like hard work. In a couple of months, I'll have some cherries. The apples won't ripen until fall. You said. Let's talk about the field. There is much work for me to do now, and I bid you good day. And by that I mean, we're going to keep talking to you. No, really, I need to work. Nope, we're going to keep talking. We need to get more intelligence and points. And we've already done that. So, uh, brigands. The brigands attacked me a few months ago. I am a strong fighter, and my hooves are deadly. But there were too many of them. My right leg was broken, and there is no pride for a centaur who cannot run. If it had not been for the unlikely intervention of their leader, I would be dead. It is very unlikely, isn't it? The leader came up after the brigands attacked me and forced them to stop, ordering them not to hurt people from the town. Then, to my amazement, gave me a healing potion and had me carried to the healer's house. It was hard to judge the leader, whose face was obscured by a large helm, but there was compassion unlike what one expects from a brigand. Curious. The healer lives just east of here. She is very skilled with potions. Fair enough. What about... Centaurs. 
We centaurs are a very ancient and proud people. What about the Baron? I'm sorry, I know little about the Baron and his family. And that's enough. Can we take the shovel? You can't do much with that. Fair enough, let us... Uh, ooh, by the way, you see the uh, wall of uh, Spielberg there? Just right there. Right, let us go this way. Yep, the uh, healer is here. And we will head north to the castle, for there is some stable mucking to do. Also, there's something else we can probably do here. Just a minute while I raise the gate. Thank you! I'm gonna try something silly. Right, let us save the game and engage in foolishness. Let us uh, stand here, right by where the gate is. Very well. Oh no! Derek! The guard, sensing something is awry, raises the portcullis. Oops! You shouldn't have stood there, you know. That's smart. Maybe you should move a little more quickly. I'm sure it's fine. Very well. Oh no! Twice in one day! He was literally watching that time. Oh no! You're not a quick learner. Now you know why the grass grows so well around the portcullis. You mean this happens more than once? Whoops. Ah well, I'm sure it'll be... fine. No, it won't be fine. We are very, very dead. Let us load the game and pretend we didn't engage in such foolishness. Because we didn't. Okay, we're back in the castle. It is time for us to head over here, get some work done, and then we will see what our stats are. I don't know what point this stops being worth doing, but uh, making money and gaining stat points is always worth it. You're back. Need some work? Of course. Well, come on here and take a rake. It's time, folks. Heroism! Also, are we going to get faster at this as time goes on? No, of course we're not. It's always going to be back-breaking labor. Hey, stop slacking! All right, fine. Five silver. And if we keep eating the fruit at Arata's piece, we don't need to buy rations, which means we can slowly earn money this way. Five silvers richer. Thank you very much. Right, what are our stats like? We have uh, 49 strength, 25 intelligence, 46 agility, 57 vitality, 32 luck, no magic, and uh, 87, 54. That's not bad. The 87 is what I'm most uh, concerned at raising right now. I want to max that out at 100. Right, anything going on over here? The answer is yes, here you are. I want to train with you. Really want to train with you. Now, which of our combat skills is the lowest right now? Uh, dodge is the lowest, and there's also parry. So let's actually improve one of those. I'll give you my money. And I think we're going to do some dodging. I salute you. On guard! And my lesson begins! Dodge! Weave! Avoid! Attack! Oh, we can push you back a little bit. Not much. And we can do that. And step. We're getting a little better, I think, but not massively. He is still far... Oh, dead. He is still far better than we are. Even as we fought, I could detect your skills improving through practice. It is most prudent that you should give in to my superior skill. I, if you would like a stretcher, my weak, tired friend... You seem a shadow of the person who began this little lesson. Should we meet again? I would not be adverse to another go-round. I would also not be adverse to your money. Oh, -ho. farewell. Right. That's done. How did our skills improve? This is when our skills did not improve and I get sad. Oh, they did. Uh, weapon use went up to 42. Parry went up, uh, dodge went up to 25. And intelligence is up, agility is up, and vitality is up. Huh. Okay. Let us go this way, for we have not gone this way yet and checked out this area. Is there something awesome here? See if we can uh, get it onto the other screen. 
yes we can! Let's have a look here. The castle's central keep rises above the rear of the courtyard. An empty wagon stands rotting into the courtyard. This is the chimney to the baking oven. The building's appearance is deceptive. It evidently extends well into the castle wall. From your present vantage point, the barracks look like it could house some 60 guards. Ooh. The troops once proudly followed this crest. And who's this person? The guard looks like he is either very tired or very lazy. Let us do something dumb, shall we? Guard, I wish to do some training. How about they? Good guard. You hear a guard yell for help. Four guards inside the barracks grab their weapons and overwhelm you. As they drag you into the castle and down into the dungeon, you realize that was not quite the right thing to do. It really wasn't. It really wasn't. Let's instead have a conversation. I'm not here to answer your stupid questions. Go talk to Carl, the gatekeeper. He talks to anyone about, about almost anything. Fair enough. Also, he does have a sword on him. So, uh... Trying to fight him there, not very smart. If it's midday, there's also something else I want to try and do that is very dumb. And we didn't get crushed. Yay! Right, let us just uh, head down. And this time I want to take the uh, route down here and go to town because there is the man outside that we did not ask that... Oh, he's not here. What time is it? It's mid-morning. Oh, it's far too early. You can't do much with that. You can't do much with that. You can't do much with that. There's nothing I can grab here. Okay, that, that's fine. Let us go to this area, and I want to practice my... Oh, no, wait. I don't want to do that. I want to sell my flowers first. Then I will practice my throwing until midday, whereupon I will find that person, and we'll have a bit of a conversation. First things first, let's pop into the healers, get some more money. Hello! I am here for cash. I need that cash to get that chainmail. Oh, do I need that chainmail? Well, what can I do for you this time? I'd like to sell you some things. Hopefully you will continue to give me lots of money for these. Thank you. I can always use flowers from Marana's piece in potion making. Here are your silvers. And excellent. Right, how many silvers do I have now? 46 silvers. Excellent. We have made some money. We spent gold and we earned 15 silvers. That's five whole silvers. All right. This time, we're going to move to a different area to engage in our rock throwing. Why? Because it's a different area. Let's actually go this way to this screen. So we're close to here. Any enemies? It's a new area. With new perils. Ah, rocks. Let us pick up those rocks. Let us throw those rocks. All the rocks that we can. And we'll pick up 30 rocks. And of course, as we get stronger through doing other things, we will be able to, uh... There we go. We'll... Oh, carrying too much. That is okay. Now, someone said that... Ah, you can press return to throw the rocks. I don't need to click. It's not really much faster, but you can hold down the enter key and just fling them all in quick succession. Rapid usage of rocks. That there, that's a nice little shortcut. And we then move over there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> then all of the... Uh, pressing of enter catches up with you. So you know what? I'm actually going to keep clicking. Like, as as much as uh, holding down enter is a tiny bit faster, you don't get all the extra examines afterwards. You don't get all the extra examines. So, more rocks. We'll throw them this way this time. Aha! You can see the little rock. Look at us throw that rock. There we go. Just keep flicking them. When we get to 100, we need not ever train throwing ever again. We will be at maximum throw. And that is useful. Oh, what is uh, our throw at now? 93! We we're certainly getting there. We are certainly getting there. Just a couple more rounds of throwing rocks. Then we'll be able to enter the rock throwing Olympics. And we will win! 
as long as nobody has played the second game and has 200 skill. That would be unfortunate. Right. Rocks? We are going to probably carry a couple of rocks with us. Just in case we need some rocks as we go about our journeys. I don't think we'll need them to uh, hurt enemies. We've clearly shown that that does not work. But we might need them for some puzzles. Okay, that is that done. How is our rock throwing now? 95! And it is currently... It's midday! Right, let's quickly do something very silly. What very silly thing am I going to do? Well, there's this person here that we encountered last time at midday, and we have, uh... We've tried to attack the guards, so let's try and attack this person. This won't go wrong. Have at thee! It doesn't work. Oh, do I have to get closer to you? Do I have to get... Also, I should probably ask for your name. What's it in for me? If you give me a silver, I might give you a bit... Oh, nah, we're just gonna use sword. Oh, doesn't actually work. You, you can't actually, uh... Use sword here. Oh. Okay. I haven't actually asked your name. I should ask your name. I'll give him a silver. If I don't have a silver, I can tell you about where to go find the Baron, Baba Yaga, or some goblins who have a lot of treasure. If you want some information, hand me some cash. I want your name. Just call me Bruno. Alright then. Can't use the sword on you. No, I can't. Interesting, I thought I'd be able to use the sword on you, but I did learn your name. I did not know your name, and that was one silver. Not very well. If you want a good time, try the dragon's breath at the bar. <laughs> no. No thank you, sir. You are trying to trick me. Trick me into dying horribly and painfully. And I will not. I will not be tricked like that. I'll be tricked into doing many other things, like closing a portcullis on my head. That's less trickery and more just me being dumb, and I'll certainly pick a fight with the guards, but I will not try the dragon's breath. Also, I'm not throwing my money around. Well, I sort of did just then by paying a silver to find out someone's name, but uh, I'm not going to literally throw my money around. Okay, we shall uh, keep throwing here. There we go. More rocks. Oh, what skill are we at now? A hundred! We've done it, folks! We are the master of rock throwing! Never again will we need to throw rocks. There are other things we could do, though. There are absolutely other things we could do. We could train our climbing on a different wall. Now, there is another wall that we saw earlier in Spielberg. Remember that alleyway? That alleyway that had the beggar? And that lovely wall. I like how we take a little moment to look around Spielberg as we enter. Nice little touch. Hello, don't mind me. I'm just gonna go this way. And apparently, uh, fail to pathfind around the barrel. It is a fine barrel, after all. We have 74 points. We're getting there. Nearly have a fifth of all the points. Okay, we need to be mindful of the time, because we were told that going here when it is, uh, dark is a bad idea. Alms! Alms for the poor! No! Climbing! Climbing for the skill! Oh! The town gate is wide open during the day. You should... You would look silly climbing the wall. I can go out that way. Oh! Well, I mean, I didn't gain much climbing there. That's not really a very good way to uh, improve my climbing, is it? No, that's really not. I should try and find somewhere else that I can improve my climbing. I should also see if I can find some combat. Yeah, I should see if I can go find some combat. What's my stamina like? It is... Ah, oh, it's pretty good. My health is pretty good, too. Let's see what I can do. We'll go this way, into the unknown! Maybe we'll find peril. Maybe we'll find combat. Maybe we'll find someone trying to kill us. We have to be careful, though. Baba Yaga is somewhere in this area. We don't want to fight Baba Yaga. 
So we are heading straight west from hostile intent is evident. What have I found? Oh! Oh, there is a brigand! Okay, when you raise up to attack, like that. There we go. Oh, ow! Oh, absolutely dead! What do you have on you, sir? What do you have on you? You have... Six silvers! Marvellous! Did we get badly... Well, I, I, I suppose I do want some rocks on hand, just in case, but, uh... How much damage did I take there? I took... Oh, not that much. Not that much hurt. Should probably rest for a little while, though. Just so that I am not, um... Have a quick 30 minute rest. I feel better. How much that restored a little stamina. We should be okay if we decide to uh engage in a fight. Will there be a fight? Uh-oh. There's a hit that you should probably save. Hmm. One strange bush! You're in the Goblin Central Combat Training Zone. You wonder where all the goblins are coming from. But don't worry about it. It's just one of those little unsolved mysteries of the universe. Hmm. Oh! It, it's Hollywood! A virtual goblin! A goblin steps out of the bush. The goblin has a mean look in its eyes. You prepare for battle. Hello! So basically, when you move to strike, I just kill you. And we do a little bow. Wow, you threw that dead goblet a long way. That we did. And there's still another goblet there. You find five silvers concealed in a pouch. You take the silvers. Marvelous. Oh. There's a lot of goblins about. There's a lot of goblins. How's our stamina doing? It's doing fine. We could totally go and uh, fight some more goblins here. How did our skill... Uh, uh, skill's not gotten better, but it's a good way to earn money, if nothing else. And so, when we come back, folks, we're going to spend a bit of time here fighting goblins. Hopefully this won't get more difficult as time goes on. Oh, who are we kidding? It's going to get more difficult as time goes on. Hello, goblin. We're going to have to be careful. We're going to have to be very careful. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.